What's up, JPC gang? Listen, real quick, it's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end because you're doing us a favor, you're doing yourself a favor if you're part of the family, part of the gang. I want to make sure we can keep delivering these great videos, great content for you guys. So go ahead and watch this video from the beginning to the end. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. All right? Peace and love. What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money. We back outdoors. We doing dreamy, super sexy, savory stuff salmon. Say that five times fast. Super sexy, savory stuff salmon. She ain't got to, you ain't got to dream about it. We're going to make it a reality right now. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat 44. Let's go, baby. All right, what's up, JPC gang? Welcome back, welcome back. We doing this super sexy, savory stuffed salmon. You know when we talk about our savory note, the savorification, we wanna hit that salty, briny. It's the flavorification with the savorification and maybe a little sweet, a little spicification. Hitting all them notes, but we definitely gonna have the crispification today. We gonna start off with our stuffing. What are we stuffing this with? We got some savory bacon, shrimpies, blue crab meat, the sweet blue crab meat. Let's go ahead and get some of this pork belly bacon down, Blackstone griddle we cooking on today of course if i didn't say it, we cooking on the blackstone we want that fat to render that's what we're going to use to saute our vegetables that's going into this dreamy luxurious sauce <laughs> starting off we making our, our stuffing while we rendering that fat down and getting that crispification let's get some veggies chopped up it's not going to be crazy chunky we're going to start off with an onion y'all see me slice an onion a thousand times now on the channel jpc gang shout out to all the ogs of the channel we're gonna go extra small. That's about how we want it. You know, just some fine dices on that onion. And we're gonna do the rest of the veggies. We want them all about the same size for this sauce. So that's one half of a sweet Vidalia onion because we gotta have these sweet notes with this savory seafood. Let's get some of these sweet bell peppers diced up. They look dangerous, but these are very innocent. It's not any spicification at all. Take all the seeds and the membranes out. It won't do us no good in this. Couple reds and one orange one yellow pepper but there you go we got some sweet onions sweet bell peppers going into this sauce we got this bacon rendered all the way down it gave us all the grease and the fatties that we want for this extra flavorification on this on this fish today on this salmon don't get rid of your bacon we definitely gonna need it real quick going down on a flat top we got our peppers and our onions we don't want to burn them it's just the way that we cooking this fish today we want to give them a head start almost give them a head start let them become real translucent they're gonna have that smoky bacon flavor in there from that fat that they sauteing in. And they're gonna be real delicious in this seafood stuffing that we put inside of this salmon. This is gonna be the base of our sauce. Smoked salmon, cream cheese. Making this stuffing, I'm gonna leave the exact recipe down in the description. We got some salt and cream cheese here. Take a look at these peppers and onions. They're not fully cooked. They still got a small crunch. They sweet and savory and delicious. So let's pull them off. So we get the rest of our peppers and onions in our mixture. We got some large to medium sized shrimp. We're gonna get down on the flat top. They still have that bacon fat down there. To season our shrimp up, we just going with a little Old Bay. And then we're going with some SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. And you know we gotta hit them with the magic dust. It wouldn't be right. Big Smokies, BBQ.com for your magic does, baby. Get these shrimps to toss, make sure everybody is playing right in the party. On the shrimps, we definitely gonna just cut the tail off of them real quick. The tail won't do us no good inside of our stuffing. I'm gonna say this is about half a pound of shrimp, so we're gonna leave a three of them with the tail on, just for presentation. In this case, I'm leaving four with the tail on. The rest of them, we're gonna put a slight chop while it's on the grill. Bite size. We don't have to get them minced down or number. we're just gonna dice them up. Our shrimps are done, so let's put them off. And we're gonna get these right into the mixture. The rest of the shrimp, we're gonna pull off and put them to the side, but you know not to get rid of them, cause we need those, baby. Going into this mixture, we got some Parmesan cheese. I'm also using Gouda in this. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can use your favorite cheese, the cheese of your choice. These two cheeses pair well together, so we're gonna straight up some, some of this Gouda right into the mixture. Now we got this crispification on the bacon. It's just a rough chop. I'm gonna put a nice little rough chop on the bacon. Bacon going right into the mixture half a teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice 
going into the mixture because you know you can't have seafood without lemon juice. Stop playing. Bread crumbs. Use your favorite bread crumbs. This is just corn syrup. Trust me, that corn syrup going to get into this mixture a sweet component. You don't want to skip the corn syrup, okay? Give it a mix. So you want to get this off into the ice box. Don't let it melt. Get it in the ice box. Let it sit. Let it marinate. The, the longer it sit, the better it get. Let's get into the salmon, baby. Let's go. We got some fresh, never frozen Atlantic salmon. We want to get right in the, in the center. Don't go all the way to the edge. We want to get right in the center of this and kind of make you a pocket. Now, don't, you don't want to go all the way through, so be careful not to puncture all the way through because you don't want your, your stuffing leaking out. You want to make a big enough pocket, though, to where you can get you some good, good amount of stuffing in the salmon. So basically, all I did is got my knife in there, made me a big lip. We're going down with a pinch of magic dust, pinch of magic dust, and a pinch of SPG. We got some blue crab meat. We didn't want to add it to our mixture because we don't want to lose the texture of this wonderful blue crab meat. Use your favorite crab meat. That's right, we're going in with, with half of this crab meat first. Get them all the way to the back. And then we want to come in with a, a spoonful of, make sure you get everything in the spoonful of your mixture. Your bacon, your shrimp, all that. Get her in there. We're going with more of that seafood stuffing. Tablespoon of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Right in the oil, we want to come down and set our salmon down. This is gonna start to crispify at the bottom. It's gonna give you that slight crispification. We wanna make sure we cooking this all the way around. The black stone lid, baby, we going right over the top. And we're gonna let that salmon do its thing for about five minutes. Don't flip it, don't do nothing to it. We cooking this on a low to medium heat, right in between medium and low. But what this is gonna do is put that extra, that lovely, slight crispification on the bottom of that salmon and in every bite. We gotta drip the sauce, baby. We gotta drip the sauce. So let's make a sauce real quick while this salmon doing its thing. Now, a lot of people been asking for these recipes. They say, Chef Ray, when you gonna cook some fish, something that's not too, you know, pork, chicken, or beef? I said, I got you. Salmon, stuffed salmon to the max, the best salmon you ever have. So we got one shallow. We just want it mince. It's a little stronger than an onion, but it's definitely got some more, more sweet notes to it. Four tablespoons of salt and butter. Get your shallots in right away. You wanna cook this on a low heat, juice of one lemon. Real quick guys, let me tell you what I did with the salmon. About after, after that four minutes, we went ahead and gave it a flip. Light like crispification on the other side and gave it two, about two or three minutes, flipped it back over and let's see where we at with it. You got that cheese oozing, the salmon is cooked perfect. So what we are gonna do now is go ahead and cut our burners off on the salmon, cause one thing we don't wanna do is overcook our fish. We are gonna finish up our sauce real quick, so what we gonna do is pull it off. Stuffed salmon with shrimp, bacon, cheese, peppers, sweet peppers, onions. Tell me that ain't gonna be delicioso. That butter glistening with them with them sauteed shallots in there and flavored that, that grease, that butter just right. Four tablespoons of white wine, use your favorite white wine. About a tablespoon of corn syrup, cream. Look at the color of that cream. Get you some lemon juice down in there. We got some of that blue crab meat. We going in with some more of that fresh parmesan. Just a little breadcrumb that's gonna tighten it right up. It's gonna cook down on a medium heat, let it reduce down to a saucy consistency. Maybe it'll take about three or four minutes, but you don't want it to burn, so cook it on a, on a real medium to low heat. This is about what we want this sauce. That juicy salmon. Mm-hmm, with that, with the shrimp and the flavorification running all through there. You wanna run it right down through there. I hope you didn't get rid of your shrimp, baby. They go right over the top. Mm-hmm. Roast it up that lemon, so you can get that extra juice up out of there. A little twist of lemon. Simmer over there, just like that, though. Don't leave them out. Don't leave them out, they gonna feel bad. Let me give you the 360. You know you gotta get the 360. Back here, you know you got that crispification. On the bottom, you got that crispification. With the extra shrimpies up top. With that cheese, you know it's bacon and smoky with that cream cheese. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for us to taste this, baby. We're gonna take one of them shrimpies off because that's going with us. Pour it. Look at her. Let's get on in here. Make sure we get a little bit of everything. You see that cheese is pulling the pot like that. Got to squeeze the roasted lemon on top. Come in. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. And that's how you deliver the super sexy, flavorful, savory stuff, Simon. JPC Gang, you asked for a fish dish? This is one you want to go right now and get the ingredients. If you pause the video, pause the video, go and go.
I, I can respect it. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. <laughs> I love you for watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go down there, leave me a comment, let us know how we, how do we do. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always jamming and cooking. Right here with your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Until next time, baby. Peace and love.